Excellencies, Honorable Francois Mosamopoko, Dr. VP Vedic, Mr. Council General, distinguished guests, supporter of the Daya India Foundation, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you all. Thank you, my dear friend, uh, Dr. Vedic, for uh, your kind words about me always whenever I see you. And he said, I'm looking very good today. Thank you, Dr. Vedic. And anyway, and always a pleasure to see you. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you tonight and to join you in this uh, NDA UAE Partnership Summit and Golden Excellence uh, Awards event organized by the DIA and their foundation. We are honored that you have chosen the United Arab Emirates as the venue for this important event. I welcome all of you, especially those who are visiting the United Arab Emirates for the purpose of this summit, but also those of you who are among the many Indian residents who live and work in our country. Your presence here today reflects the depth of bonds of friendship and trust that exists between India and the United Arab Emirates. Our strong ties and connections are remarkable in a period of world history marked more by division and strife than by common purpose and cooperation. India-UAE relations are based on trade, on extensive business connections, on many common interests and values, and on a shared view of important global issues. Thank you for your efforts to promote friendship and cooperation between India and the United Arab Emirates. I want to take this opportunity to express my admiration for India and its people. You have a rich and a compelling history, distinguished for arts and sciences. The modern history of your country moreover exemplifies a national character of distinction, innovation, perseverance, and tolerance. I admire your achievements and progress, your devotion to your heritage, as well as your vision for the future of your great country. Thank you. I also want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the contributions of the Daya India Foundation to human progress and achievement. As its name implies, the foundation stands for light, knowledge, and progress. Its work embodies important elements of India's culture and traditions. Thank you again, Dr. Velik, my dear friend. And, and your colleagues for your resolve and your dedication to the common good. I consider your meeting in Dubai this evening especially important because of its focus on promoting a culture of knowledge, understanding, kindness, peace, and respect. We have come together this evening to be inspired by these shared values and aspirations. Indeed, we have come to the right place. The United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates provide that inspiration. We are a nation that values peace, tolerance, and human fraternity. We have erected a huge and a welcoming Arab tent and routinely expanded to sh shelter our guests of international residents. Under the wise leadership 
of His Highness the President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Our country is deeply dedicated to a society where, where we seek to know and understand one another. In the UAE, each individual deserves respect and understanding. Each individual receives that respect and understanding in an environment characterized by a continually renewed sense of tolerance, compassion, and dialogue. My dear friends, another reason I consider this meeting important is its focus on celebrating excellence and good works. The winners of the Golden Excellence Awards are accomplished and su successful workers in the fields of education and health and well-being and social impact. Tonight, we can see and celebrate their creativity and their success. This celebration is entirely consistent with the direction that our president, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, has articulated for the United Arab Emirates. Under His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's leadership, the UAE seeks to develop a well education citizenry engaged in education, healthcare, commerce, and other endeavors that promote peace prosperity, understanding in the global society. Each winner of an excellence award this evening has an impressive record of achievement. Their achievements are a tribute to their character, their intellect, their hard work, their commitment, and their determination. By honoring them tonight, we declare that we are inspired by their, by their example of excellence, achievement, and dedication to human well-being. I congratulate the winners and express my appreciation to all of them. I applaud all of you here tonight for acting on your belief that excellence and human achievement are cause for celebration. I wish the Daya India Foundation and all the people and institutions of India prosperity and continued well-being in the years to come. God bless you all and thank you.